your wee man saying this drips here back with another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make trigger stoppers for your controller diy by the way this will only cost about five pounds so yeah let's get into the video the first thing you would need is your super glue next thing you need is your controller and then cable wires this all costs about five pounds you can get them anywhere like super busy to find cable wires and your controller basically now, this is what it actually looks like that's how it actually looks like when you put your and it actually as you can see it actually stops so, oh yeah obviously you need one more thing let me quickly go there now the last thing you need is your scissors um yeah I'm also going to show you another way how to do it which is just simple all you need is one elastic band and yeah this is the first way how you're going to do it so basically what you want to do is get your cable wires so once you have your cable wire you want to actually like measure it so you can actually click down on the trigger <coughs> um so what um so basically when once you measure it you, you Get your scissors and you cut it once you get your scissors and you cut these two small pieces what you want to do is get your super glue and basically turn it around and glue your super glue onto the thing and then and glue a bit onto the controller make sure not to glue too much because when you, once you, when you glue too much, your triggers might be stuck. This is just a disclaimer, by the way. Your triggers might be stuck, and also any type of racing game you play, you it won't work because you can't hold down long enough. Because in racing games, you can't go really fast if you hold the trigger. Yeah, you would have to hold it really far down. Right? Yeah. Um, that's all you have to really do. Just make sure not to put too much glue on it. And then you place it onto it, and then just wait like five minutes for it to dry, and yeah. So let me show you the next one which is more easier just one band you need and right, so for this one all you need is your normal DualShock 4 controller and one elastic band so basically what you want to do with your elastic band is sorry guys my tripod broke so like it was kind of hard so i had to like cut the scenes so you guys didn't see but basically what i did was Basically what I did was wrap this, my elastic band Around the controller Oh fuck this is so Basically all I did was Wrap my elastic band around the controller And basically what this will do is stop if you get a bigger elastic band, it would be much more useful because this one is a bit too small, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wrapped it around them and so when, as you can see, it actually stops. So yeah, as you can see, it actually stops for the trigger. If you get um, a better, a thicker elastic band, it would be easier. And this is like the trigger stopper. These are way much better, I can't lie. These I've never fall out, fallen out before, but as you can see, I've actually I have put too much glue and my control, my triggers got stuck before in it. That was kind of hours, but. So yeah, those are the two ways to make trigger stoppers. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video in a bit, you man.